Hi guys! Have you ever heard of tonkatsu, one of Japanese most popular foods? Thick slices of pork loin or filet dipped in flour, egg, and breadcrumbs and deep fried. I will show you how to make this simple dish as well as some professional tips on how to make tonkatsu even better. Cut the pork loin for the tonkatsu into thick pieces. The thicker the meat, the juicier the result will be. Cutting the muscle in meat, sujikiri. The muscle is located between the flesh and the fat. Point! Cutting the muscle, the pork will not rub when cooked and will turn out beautifully. Cut the muscle on the back side in the same way. Point! If you sprinkle salt on the meat and leave it there, the salt will break down the proteins and make the meat tender. Why do you sprinkle 0.8% salt? It is said that the salt concentration that humans find most palatable is between 0.8% and 1%. It is said that the reason it tastes so good is because it is close to the salinity of human body fluids. Let's stand in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Wipe off the surface moisture. Sprinkle pepper on both sides. Make namapanko. It's fresh breadcrumbs. What is namapanko? Unlike regular breadcrumbs, these are breadcrumbs that have not undergone any drying process. Compared to regular breadcrumbs, it gives a crispy finish when fried. You can freeze the leftover namapanko, so make more. Make it as fine as this. Why do you mix oil with eggs? By mixing the eggs with oil, the oil coats the meat and keeps the flavor of the meat from escaping. Pour to a large container. I recommend using bamboo skewers for the flour, egg, and bread crumbing process. This is because the flour and egg coating on the meat will only come off where you are holding it with your hands or tongues. Using a bamboo skewer will prevent the flour and egg from peeling off the meat. Flour and eggs should be applied evenly and carefully. Did you know the tonkatsu have zero calories? Since calories are sensitive to heat, frying them in hot oil eliminates them. This is called the calorie zero theory. It was not a Japanese scientist who made the announcement, but a comedian named Sandwich Man. This is a Sandwich Man's joke. <laughs> Lightly press down on the top with your hand to make sure the crumbs stick. Namapanko have a high moisture content which allows the food to cook slowly and reduce the damage to the food during heating. It also gives a sense of volume to the finished product. Most of the tonkatsu restaurants in Japan use namapanko. Place the meat in room temperature oil. The amount of oil should be enough to cover the tonkatsu with oil. Heat over medium heat. Point! Slowly heating the meat from oil at room temperature minimizes damage to the meat during cooking, resulting in tender, moist, and juicy meat. The slow cooking also prevents mistakes such as undercooking or over frying. This is the image of low temperature cooking in oil. In Japan, tonkatsu restaurants use lard for frying, but it is difficult to do at home so I used canola oil this time. Measure the temperature of the oil and if it's around 100 degrees or 212 Fahrenheit, it's okay. If the temperature is below 100 degrees or 212 Fahrenheit, increase the heat. When the temperature reaches around 100 degrees or 212 Fahrenheit, flip the tonkatsu over. The tonkatsu is still white in appearance but the meat is about 90% cooked. Remove the tonkatsu from the oil and place it upright. Point! Putting the tonkatsu upright will prevent it from becoming greasy. 
The residual heat will ensure that the meat is 100% cooked. The residual heat cooks the meat, making it juicy. Heat over high heat. Raise the temperature of the oil to 180 degrees or 356 Fahrenheit. Point! Deep frying twice in hot oil gives a crispy finish. When the breadcrumbs are nicely browned, remove from the oil. Remove the tonkatsu from the oil and place it upright. Let stand for 3 minutes to drain the oil. Let's cut it. Wow! It's fried to a juicy perfection. Serve with plenty of shredded cabbage to complete the dish. In Japan, shredded cabbage is a standard garnish for tonkatsu. The vitamin U in cabbage protects the stomach and helps with digestion and absorption. Let's eat! Hmm, crispy on the outside and juicy on the meat. It's the most delicious. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel.